Hey guys, Prince Phoenix is back with another box food video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 um, um, best grinding fruits and box fruits. Um, this is all in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, don't go like into the comments and just start being like toxic and hate and all that. If you, if you have like a different opinion and you're like nice about it, it would be nice if you comment down below and see um, what grinding fruits are good in your opinion. Uh, um, by the way, it's just going to be like... Um, and just some boss um boss grinding and just like grinding overall like grinding levels and all that uh so yeah let's get into it okay first on the list we have um this may surprise you but it, it's buddha buddha is actually really good um you can use it just like when you use it in rage like 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 um when you punch it's like the range is like bigger or like the, not the range the, the um hitbox so yeah um it, it's a, this is really good if you if you just enter to new world because um, it's, it's just a pretty good fruit to grind overall. Um, I used Budo when I was like level 400. And um, yeah, it, it just helped me a lot until I was like level 600 and I started using Magma and all that. Yeah, um, even if even if the skills from NPCs hit you, you're still pretty tanky. You can just keep your distance and just start punching them. Yeah, it, 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 it's, uh, it's a really good fruit. Um, for bosses, it's actually not that good. So it's like only good for like NPCs and all that. For bosses, it's actually not that good because bosses actually do a lot of damage when they punch you and their skills and all that and i'm pretty sure and it's like annoying to keep your distance like almost like every second depending which boss you're fighting i'll uh, say so yeah that's why buddha is number five but yeah it's like it's probably like one of the best for just like for just farming npcs all right now let's move on to number four okay next on the list is a dark awakening not regular dark dark awakening uh the, this fruit is just it's just pretty good overall well yeah it's, it's just good um uh, it, it's good for just farming npcs and boss killing because the skills actually do like somewhat decent damage but since like it's mostly for pvp fruit it's it, it won't be it's not that high in the list but it's still pretty good okay so okay so the skills you might so all the skills just like do pretty good damage overall you can lower them with like super or something like that and just yeah and do that and just use dimensional slash something like that also dimensional slash can hit multiple um um npcs and the damage is actually pretty decent oh you also have ghastly step um you can use this when you're um um grinding bosses to just dodge some attacks a word of darkness does a lot of damage against bosses and yeah it's just pretty good but uh, like i said before it's like mainly for pvp fruit so it doesn't do that much damage against bosses so that's why it's not that high in the list all right let's get on to the next fruit Okay, next we have is Rumble. Rumble is the, basically the same thing as um, Dark, but instead it's just stronger. Oh, remember guys, this is all my opinion, but instead it's just stronger. But the reason why it's on number three and not like number two, number one is because the skills are like, like um, Turner Bomb is just way too slow and all that. Okay, here we have all the NPCs gathered. Okay, so here you could just lower them with Superhuman or something like that. You can do that. And also, the reason why Rumble is um, number... Th um, Fudge. All right. The reason why num Rumble is number three is because um, depending where you're farming, like if you're in a cursed ship, like skills like Sky Thunder, like and all that won't work. So it's a so it's actually pretty annoying in the farm, but it's not that big of a deal because uh, I'm pretty sure Sky Beam and Thunder Bomb go through um walls and all that. It should. If not, then that sucks. Uh, for bosses, it's pretty good, but you're gonna have to like um like keep your distance a little bit because like so, like Thunder Bomb when you're charging it, like the bosses can just like keep on punching you and all that. But yeah, the damage is pretty good for bosses and all that, but it's in uh, number three because like it, it, it's uh, this fruit, the fruit is pretty slow. Okay, next we have is um, flame awakening. Oh, hold up. <laughs> okay, next we have is um, flame awakening slash flame. A uh, regular flame will be like number three, number four, but a flame awakening, uh, it's like is 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 number two in my opinion because uh, it does burning damage and AOE is just, is just like is just like perfect for farming. And yeah, it, it, this is this um this fruit is like it, it's just like magma. Okay, here we have the NPCs uh with the with the um cool fire uh, yeah the um fire AOE it just does a really good amount of damage. Yeah, like that. Especially flame destroy. Flame destroy does a lot of damage and burning damage. So it's, it's just really good for bosses and um um just farming really NPCs. It, it, in my opinion, this is probably one of, probably the best awakening fruit for um farming in my opinion. I don't know, you guys. If you, guys, if you guys think it's not then yeah we all have our own opinions so yeah flame is just is just super good uh, good damage good like aoe good everything good burn damage and all that all right now let's move on to number one okay so number one it actually depends on um 
there's actually two fruits on number one because I couldn't really decide. It, it honestly like depends on like what you're trying to farm. If you're um boss hunting for levels, I recommend light. But if not, then um you'll see the other fruit. All right, so light uh, is just um reason why like it's it's good for boss hunting because of the shining fly. You can just move around and stuff and all that. And and it's also it's also just really good for farming like this because the uh, damage is pretty good and the AOE is just really good. You also have a cool little sword, so you don't have to keep on switching to superhuman if you're on mobile. If you're like, cause it's cause it cause it's probably like a little bit annoying just having to switch to superhuman a lot on mobile. But yeah, um, light is pretty good. Uh, light speed destroyer is is pretty good for bosses since the damage is pretty good. So yeah, it's um you, you're gonna want to if you're if you're trying to boss up, I rec I, re I recommend um light awakening or regular light if you don't have um light awakening. It's just pretty good. Okay, the other fruit on the number one spot list is magma. If you if you just want to like stick to NPCs and just farming like all day and all that, I, I would recommend magma. Magma is also really good to, to for like if, for like um uh, as a support fruit to farm. And what I mean by that is like um using it using the skills to lure enemies and like finish them off with kabucha or like just to use superhuman or whatever you're leveling up. Magma, in my opinion, um, I would used to say Magma is just super OP for grinding, but Light Awakening came out and like it's just it's just like tied with Light Awakening in my opinion. The um the burning damage or the lava pool damage thingy is really good. The skills don't take a lot of energy. And yeah, look at that. It's just it's just it's just really good. It's just a really good fruit for grinding. Um, if, if if you're in um old world and you're planning to get like magma around level 500, I would recommend keeping magma until your max level. I'm not even lying. Like this fruit is just so good. It's so good for bosses, and that the damage is really high. The only thing about bad about it is ma is the magma flight. Um, which is the reason why it's tied with like awakening. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be annoying to like going boss to boss if you're boss hunting, but it's not uh, it's not that much of a big deal to me. But if you're trying to boss it, I would recommend light just because of the speed. But um, magma is um, it's just it's just really good. Like damage and everything is just good. It's basically flame awakening, but um, better in my opinion. All right, so hey guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you um, if you don't if you don't dis if you disagree with me with some of the fruits on this list, um, don't don't start hating in the comments. Uh, if you if um, if you like have some friendly uh, opinions and think like other fruits should have been on this, like ice awakening or dough something like that, uh, comment down below because it would be interesting of like why do you think that fruit is really good for grinding. But yeah, anyway, uh, subscribe for more content like this. Like the video for like more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.